all right a very good evening to you all and um god richly bless you this is a brother and friend joshua of the new african concepts and then as we always do on mondays we come your way with that of fact checkers um, i'm in a different location out of my usual place so the illumination is quite um, bad so just pardon me for today okay so today um there are a number of i think um, whether last week or last two weeks i made i'm sure somewhere last week i um i had a write-up on the national cathedral and my stand on national cathedral has been clear i mean since day one of its inception and it has been that i am not particularly in support of it um, though uh, I'm a Christian, but I think that based on the kind of understanding I have concerning what Christianity is about, what the church is about, the essence of Christianity and then all, coupled with the context that we find our in as a people of Ghana, and then given the trajectory of affairs in the country, um, when you conclude everything, I think that it is enough point to make that it is not necessary, even in the first place, to... Um, there may be nothing wrong essentially with the national cathedral itself but when you place it in the context of all the arguments made yeah so right from day one my points have become clear i think that maybe this may be the last time i may be talking about it yeah so last week i made a post or an article on it through the adulam i mean hero that i've been writing and then since then there have been a whole number of questions a whole number of questions i just i think i'll pick maybe two or three of them and then address them simply um, for tonight yeah so i remember a, a friend also asked me concerning that same thing that because one of the points that i made i guess um, the social economic um, i took it from the theological the social economic and then the i mean the political several arguments that are made and one of the points i made was the fact that we are in a country that we are well aware that narco trainees almost for about five to seven months now they've not been paid we are well aware that um, um, several several issues so for the government to take an extra 25 million cities in the name of as a support seat for national cathedral is quite excellent very very much worrisome yeah so um, my friend asked me that when the temple in jerusalem was being built we all know that um, it was king solomon who built david wanted to do it but then um, god did not allow him he allowed um, um, his son that is solomon to do it so the question is that when solomon was building the temple in jerusalem were there no poor people i think it's a it's a very brilliant question yeah so the argument is that if we are saying that there are there is so much staffs in ghana among for chiro mu yen tuya among for car national service for if you are uh, uh, inconsistent now go for seven months the entire muka omo muo um national youth employment and only had there some some of them nine months in your muka and if that is part of the arguments we are making a sebi o tama na ye si king solomon ye si asore daima yan kupon in jerusalem no around that time no are we trying to say that there was no poor person na obi eni ho na em ekom de no ana se na obi eni ho na me bia na ne ho chire na na yeah so this is the issue what we are saying is that if you know very well the issues of the old covenant u de de bia to bo ase na kan old testament no na hu we any time god was angry with the people of israel just check any time god was angry read the book of isaiah read i mean ezekiel jeremiah and then all any time god was angry with his people it was on two things one either there was so much sin or unrighteousness in the land and then two either there is i mean oppression of the less privileged people particularly the fatherless the widows the 
I mean, um, the strangers and then the poor. Just take this assignment. Now, sure, in most cases, senyang kupon ni bufu eye ne main Israel a eye noma mienu we. One eni se boni adoso o ma kuma no ako di eye idols. There is so much idolatry. There is so much unrighteousness in the land. When he sees that, he complains. And then number two, when he sees that there is so much injustice, there is so much, I mean, um, um, lack of attention for the poor, for the needy, for the stranger, for the widow, for the fatherless. Anytime he sees oppression and injustice towards these people, he also complained. So my brother um, Dakwa, with that question, you see, that is why God had instituted Titan as part of their economic system. Titan under the Old Testament was almost like taxation. Yes, in the hand of no yetuya tax. Tax a yetuya e woma inu muno. E bi na yede 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 bo obra um i mean yeah they bought or my no bra it been a year a year government workers or more more a year juma for it is the same thing there were three types of tithes in the old testament we had the levitical tithe we have the needy tithe and we have the festival tithe the levitical tithe no and no 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 omo de comma a year a software no the the levites because they were not having any land to plow. So they were falling or relying on the tithes that would be given. So the Levites, the Levitical tithe was paid to the Levites so that they could also pay tithe on it and then they can almost ombedi in order to survive. The festival tithe was actually paid or was given towards the annual festival, that is the Yom Kippur, where all Jews, wherever they were in the whole world, they had to come to Jerusalem and then have that big feast. In Tinoma, they gave that tithe so that it would provide enough drinks, enough food during the festival. And there was the needy tithe. The needy tithe, you know, and on a year this year, a year in Mobro 4, and it was the needy tithe, you know, so the question is, were, don't, were there no poor people? There were poor people. There were fatherless people. But God has made provision through the needy tithes under the Old Covenant or under the Old Testament so that those people will be catered for. So that is how intense God is. Even Malachi, Malachi chapter 3, baby, yeah, you tell Koti when they are making arguments for why a Christian must even pay tithe. You know? Malachi chapter 3, verse 8, before God was about saying, will a man rob God in verse 8? You know? Just go back to verse 3, go to verse 5, and you realize that he was actually complaining that the fatherless, the widows, the strangers, and then people in the in Mweja Omoshe, in the order of the general, so can I say, bring your tithes into the storehouse. Because when the tithes were brought into the storehouse, a mu bin a ye ye, a dema, a ye woman, a mu chiro mu ewa or my no mu. So, to wrap up on that question, it is a very good question. Were there no poor people when the temple in Jerusalem was being built? There were poor people. Even Jesus said, as for the poor, you will always have them amongst you. So there were poor people, there were widows, there were strangers, there were fatherless, there were the widows around. The only difference is that in this time, the poor, the fatherless have been neglected. But in those times, though they were there, but they were being catered for. Because God has provided or has made a provision under the Titan system, which was their form of taxation system, through the needy tithes to make sure that all poor and people in that category were what were being catered for. So that is it. And then I think um, there was also one question that uh, a brother raised under it that. Or say, Wakasa Bibri, you have made a whole lot of points on it. But have you also prayed to know whether God is interested in it or not? And then I think that 
it is also a good point because prayer is the key through prayer we are able to assess the mind of god by true revelation and then listen we are able to assess the mind of god concerning an issue and whatever we are about venturing in it is prudent as christians that we pray about it they will say ah this is the mind or the will of god concerning it but i mean um um beyond that that is why the best canon the best canon or the standard for us that is why the, during the times of the reformation the cry of the fathers were sola scriptura by scripture alone i don't think the word you know, because he says that he has placed his word above his name so there is a way to find out the mind of god concerning a number of stars and one of the surest in fact the surest because even in prayer we must even talk of oh okay god told me there are a lot of times that uh, people come out oh god told me to do this god told me to do this <laughs> but the question is did god really tell you or do you really have the spirit of discernment to know the surest kind is not even in prayer the surest kind is the standard element of the word and then when you consider that so i just reply i reply to him that it is just like you are asking me have i prayed to god to confirm whether jesus is god or the divinity of christ <laughs> of course I mean, I, I mean, it is not out of place for me to pray to God for a confirmation or something of that sort. But the Bible is so much, is pregnant with so much evidence on the divinity of Christ. Of course, Jesus is God. And that is what the Bible teaches. Even through the Old Testament, so many times, he confirms it and gives prophetic, I mean, uh, declaration towards it. And the arrival of Jesus, even till he died, he resurrected. Everything confirms that Jesus is God. So I think that I wouldn't need to pray about it again. Of course, there are things that we must find the mind of God. There are no two ways about that. But I'll be concerning, he said he has made it clear. God does not dwell in buildings made of human hands, in temples. Sad time, no, it came, yeah, yeah, Pam Dadano. Stephen Aka, Jesus himself said that it is, uh, he told the Samaritan woman, say, God, the Samaritan woman said that, um, your father said that we should worship in Jerusalem. And our father said we should worship on this mountain. And Jesus said that, Mommy, and how? If he says, I'm Reno Eba, God will be looking for those who worship him in truth and in spirit. And then he added that wherever two or three are gathered in my name, into the idea of uh, the house of God, my brother, it does not require extra prayer. The, it is not wrong to pray about it, but the truth is that the the element in the scriptures, you know, it does not require extra prayer. So I just say me born home pie. Say rather me person me who want me say cathedral. No, we need you who are now say nyango pon on timu biom. Jesus taught on it. Paul taught on it. Peter taught on it. The early church taught on it. That is as simple as that. I don't think, though it is not wrong to pray about it, but I don't think that it requires extra prayer, especially when the Bible is not, um, um, shall I say, um, silent on it. The old covenant, God gave it as a shadow. At that time, God was locked up within the confines of the Holy of Holies. Into Madaino Emute, yes, we were into Madaino Emute, which signified that now God had left. He had left the Holy of Holies and he has never returned to the temple anymore. Now, the funny thing is that <laughs> even if God dwells in temples, and I say, Yankupon, they need the a year, a sorry dying here. 
Question is say, inti asori dain be breba a wo a kesiye. We don't find say yango pon ope air condition asori dain fine. Inti asori dain kesiye a a wo Ghana a kara unko ampo di guonum. Ufa a ye ye papa a jinasari Perez doom. Ufa a ye Kudesh. Ufa papa Duncan honum. And then all kinds. So the question is with all these several churches or church buildings ni or auditoriums ni cathedrals no and sakra na wati aba kumase ofa ccc ofa family chapel indeed is it not enough that is even if god is interested in dwelling in temples na and as a sorry dia se bi what na sa sorry dia no mawi I'm sorry that you work Ghana, Unkwa, until you move Nigeria, your papa Paul and Nancy, there, a hundred thousand capacity, until you move So even if God is interested in abiding within the confines of an auditorium, He has not even exhausted staying in or living in or dwelling in the various church buildings. I see a man. I know Kwan Paul said, "Debi a kusia debi a ukoba kumwa." So all the fab every corner, it does not match up. So my brother, I have not prayed about it. Particularly whether God is interested in it. I feel God, the scriptures are clear on it. It is not ambiguous. The scriptures is clear on it concerning the attitude of God or the posture of God in the new covenant. Remember, we are not under the old. So at same way, yeah, kind of under the old, uh, are you different? Under the old, God was interested because he gave the dimensions to, to Moses to build the tabernacle. And then it was later upgraded to the temple. And the God was interested. When we come into the new covenant, we don't see God giving dimensions. We don't see God, or what Jesus said, that Be-bia, be-nu anase basa ishiano. he is there. God is no more interested in an enclave of an auditorium. He is now interested in the heart, the posture of the heart of the people who are rather in. So I don't find that I'll have to go and then pray about it. It's just, just like telling me that have I prayed to know whether uh, Jesus is God? Or have I prayed about it? Mama bompaya chilengame, amame who said the Bible is the word of God. No. There's nothing wrong in praying about it. But just as there is enough evidence that the Bible is the word of God, just as there is enough evidence in the scripture to also show that Jesus is divine or is God, in the same vein, when you put everything together from the old and the new covenant, there is enough evidence to show that under the new covenant, the aspect of the house of God and the Nyamifi, Nyasore Dino, it is a done deal. It serves only one purpose, and that purpose is that ye baby a Asia. So it is not because we Asia was sorry them anything that there is power there. It is because we are God carriers. If we meet at the hall, there will be power. Anything that Asia or park, so now bonfire, still there is power. Asia or classroom, and still there is power. It means that it is not whether we have met in an auditorium or a cathedral, but rather it is because we as God carriers, we have arrived. Wherever two or three are gathered in his name, then he is there. And there are, I mean, other several, um, 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 listen, you can check out on the Adulam, you can go to the New African Concept and then read that article for yourself, where I gave, I think, enough proof. And then ask, there were other further questions that I've answered them. I don't want to repeat it. So let me say this by way of wrapping up. I think this will be my last, um, shall I say, uh, having to talk about it. Several, I breath. So this is, this is how I'll conclude it. Whatever we say, it is obvious that even the project has even started and then all that. I think one, one, let me chip this one in here before I conclude. One, one, one other friend of mine called Alfred, I mean, of course, he's an MPP uh, uh, stronghold or strong uh, member. He, he, he was asking me one time, when I made my view on the National Cathedral, I don't know what I said, I said, you see National Cathedral, 
na se mabe ye big man in the country na se now i am invited to either preach or be give a talk at the national cathedral na will i enter or will i honor that invitation and i say because i spoke against it you know he is not expecting me to be there <laughs> and i laughed over it and i said wow i mean it's in honor say ye na ye show we are monitoring you to see and i'm say bema it's called alfred and i'm say bema don't monitor let me give you the answer outright if you invite me that ye see we e be at 10 years time 20 years time Magada parliamentarians, Magada Ebia uh, youth, or religious leaders, and you think that I am fit for that kind of program. That's the way you invite me. I don't know. I think I will be very hypocritical to say, say because I spoke against that project, you know, and I will not honor the invitation. Say any other place, dear member, and so yeah, yeah, National Cathedral Hall, dear member. I will come today, I will come tomorrow, I will come any time. That does not me bad program now say now be interview me say what do I think of the National Cathedral? I will still maintain my stand. Because my stand beyond everything you know, is rooted in scripture, and scripture cannot be broken. And the main way you kukwasa kukwasa say, oh, uh, first one and I will make a sit here. And now it is not needed. This is my stand, especially in the light of scriptures. It is not. It does not mean say yint minya esun faswo. That would be an extreme conclusion for me to draw. I cannot say say oh national cathedral ni ntimi nya ho mfaso oh aden say bi oh it is a meeting place enti say you see we are your meetings e be koso what i'm saying is that it is not needed because whatever meeting e be koso no there are several places sir you be to me ah yes sir national cathedral wo ho say so a crown international conference center wo ho say so a eh even church buildings, makers' house, then, 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 big ones. I will hold them. A bit me accommodate fifteen thousand instead of the five thousand. In the Jumedie Bia National Cathedral, no a bit, you know. Um, I will say, oh, a bit, say, oh, a bit me a tourist site. Um, a man for be bar any idea. Come on, if it is tourist site, do you know the number of tourist centers that we have neglected? In the, as a, the, the whole discussion, you know, it does not patch up. It does not patch up. Oh, the in bubble, my does not patch up. And your tourism now, person who focusing on uh, then focus on tourism. You don't need this answer now. What be your tourism? Because already now, no, there are tourist centers, uh, and we could make billions out of it. You have neglected all these things. And then it will say, oh, yeah, but see there are good things that we can get out of it. But the argument and conclusion is that whatever good thing we can get out of it, there are better ways of getting that good thing. So ultimately, it is not needed. You remember when we were chanting whether last year or last two years that drop that chamber, drop that chamber. Why were we saying it is not, um, we should drop that chamber? What chamber was it? It was a parliamentarian chamber. A chamber that Omokwa Kofa again in Penyufoba Befa again concerning the country. So there is nothing wrong with the political chamber or the parliamentary chamber. What made it wrong was that you will be a answer, yeah. And the That was the whole thing. So there was nothing wrong with the chamber itself. But the issue was that let's manage the space we have now. It's the same thing. Whatever use, very good use, that you can get out of the National Cathedral, there are other ways. Say your tourism, you focus on tourism. Say a year. A uh, meeting space, uh, there are so many. There are places, there are other things. Uh, you be to me, enya, a free mo. So ultimately, it does not make it up. And even the maintenance here, eh, you say, eh, yeah, me, yes, eh, yeah, they intro. Ushimwa, ushimudiya. One of the things, eh, yeah, very inconsistent. Yeah, they intro, and the AC, yeah, me, asore, dying. 
me kasa ye den troa project is starti ye no mo ma ye ti ase se eye eye ye our president his excellency na na adu dan kwa akufu adu eye ne personal promise ana oye ma god and i've always been asking this question say ah since when does a personal promise become a national yoke and a national burden una uni unyankopon atentam enti it i mean it is simple this shouldn't even be a subject for discussion na se accept you obi a personal promise e ba bedane a national burden then do we have a nation no ye fa no nkra ento nchen e san se e ye personal promise enti no a mo ma ye ti ase sa no enti na everything does not go through the necessary protocol because it is a personal promise enti no no there it is not mo ma ye ti ase se e nye tax payers man ana mo di kwa kutua ana mo di kwa kwa ye e ye free will donation fine se bi o di obi di o di ni sika we nya e de be ye de i mean em 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 fa ho e no no de o no ne se bi we nya ni sika he says he believes in the national cathedral i mean there's nothing wrong if he goes ahead and then give those of us who don't believe in it i mean we can also channel our resources into something else e no de e ye i mean personal choice you made it or we were made to categorically believe that because it is an optional or a personal decision it is not going to take tax payers money Inti samwa kawei atu ye trimwa. Edi ya adi intina afi ye dasore ya. Yese ya tamu 25 million Ghana cities. Tetisikano 250 billion cities. From taxpayers money. It did not even go through the usual parliamentary approval. It is just a decision by the executive and then the finance minister. Without going through all the necessary ayi. Na mwa tamu 250 billion. Say yeah, they get a seed money for the national cathedral. These are lies. These are fallacies. These are inconsistencies. You cannot claim that this project has nothing to do with taxpayers' money and later come in and against the will of the people. Even if you want to do it, ah, for for the right protocol, and for Parliament, Kwama Oman debate, Kwampo, it was just an executive order, and then 25 million Ghana cedis had been given. And mind you, before it, now already, you know, architecture, no, I architect, no, yeah, you know, the decay amano 32, 32 million Ghana cedis. Even before the 25, and so far. Yes, start your project in Okra. No, I buy taxpayers' money. I come here not less than hundred million cedis. This is too much. Inti, if you are sorry, dying. So you, the funny thing is that you miss your Okra. Yes, you know, Sebio, you the intro, and you could cross a, and you need to keep your na easy. I'm sorry, dying. And you think that God is interested in in say who chin chin a man phone sir say who can throw a tray and say and yet taxpayers money a tray what got time pack taxpayers money a thirty two million a man for consultancy work a fee your whole number was a got time twenty five million without going through parliamentary approval with all these lies now we ask ourselves what is the budget project in the start you know you say budget in a hundred million dollars. I feel you know why I bet you see a two hundred million dollars. This year, me can say I caught three hundred and fifty million dollars. The question is, are the capacity? You no, know, is it increasing or what? Because I say a five thousand a year. In the how come a, a single project and that same project, you know, as that, you know, the estimate was hundred million dollars. I feel you say, oh, ah, how no no? Yeah, the way we can hold a yinti. This is ano two hundred million dollars. This is America say I could draw three hundred and fifty million dollars. Project barco. You name the budget. Is it hundred? Is it two hundred? Is it two fifty? Is it three hundred? Is it three fifty? The government must come clear. 
a uh, 350 i am renting a 350 and then also say we see any tax be as a year then take it off na free will donation you know m1 na nc into okay nini na bomwa adie kwa ye ya ma ya nkopo onu mpono ya de entro ene akumasaye na eden adh and you think God is interested in such a project? I don't think I need to pray. Of course, I believe in prayer. And then there are so many things that I have to pray about. I don't think this is included because there is so much evidence in the light of the scripture to prove that God, obviously, especially, into the difference is that there were poor people during the time of Jerusalem. You know, but there was a system created by God to take care of them. This time, there are poor people, but there is no system to take care of them. There are street children, but there is no system to take care of them. There are the motherless, the widows, the unemployed people. And there is no system to take care of them. So you cannot put both of them under the same soup. And mind you, we are even in a different covenant. And let me leave this final statement as i close because at the end of the year now you call i call for a boy every jerusalem oh we 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 have we have a problem but i think that i will not be compelled to go um extra let me let me let me give this concluding remarks I think I went home last week and then my father was asking me on the National Cathedral and then this was what after our final argument and say I'm a catcher. Udi etna who din sebio ubiya wo a dream and I said conscience. Everybody has a conscience. You think about it very well as a, a closing remark. Just take it that. Ye vice president, a year baumia, Anna, a year president. Would you follow what I'm saying? You know, assuming it is the vice president now who is currently the president in the place of um, 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 His Excellency Nanado. Anna, oh yes, oh yeah, na Jin say, or per se, OC National Mosque. Just answer me truthfully. Or yeah, now you say Opese Osi National Mosque. Na National Mosque, no. Baby, I judge is for a te. Obe tu omu e budai no. Or honum na Opese. Or the National Mosque no e den isi. Ano di ka inka chira e se oh we di e e free will inti inkremu for ye na ye si anase inti obi a di Opese o mano. You be one set what almost hundred million dollars every a year a buying food to a taxpayer's money as contribution or seed money. What will be your reaction towards it? Don't be political when you MPP NDC a year. Oh, the Tennessee Dean. This is a message to woman or my dear Jim. Who think that they even understand the scriptures even more than Jesus Himself? And you find certain journalists that I refrain from even mentioning his name, <laughs> saying all kinds of things, twisting scriptures to all give that Ghana needs salvation. What is the link between salvation and then the National Cathedral? Let us not mix things up. Our finance minister, whether last week or so, was interviewed. And he was saying that as a people, we need a spiritual link. And then there, there is no link between, I mean, our spirituality and the National Cathedral. Yes, Ghana needs salvation. There are not two ways about that. But Ghana needs salvation. No interest said our salvation. What is the link between the salvation of Ghana and the National Cathedral? What is the link between the spirituality of Ghana and the National Cathedral? I can assure you, say, Sebio Anka, a software, a ta project yechi, Anka, a kordani, Anna, a year national mosque, Anna, president, a osisono, a year, na, green, se, obeye, 
Anka, I can assure you that we will have software air code demonstration for the first time. Pastors will be on the street. Pastors will be on the media houses, and they'll be speaking against it. Oh, there be and yet, and yet, and yet, in Kremu Fonkwa, and the war of Mainumu, there were Christopher, there were all kinds of people. Untimi and Tam taxpayers' money, and Kusi National Mosque. The very people who are supporting it. Anka and Kotian fire honum, and I caught a fire in Yanu Muslimi for her, they would have stood up against it. Sebu koto di ene boje, but di what di ye ye no ye cha esebi toho. That is what I want you to have. It is it is not just the fun of argument. Oh, eh, it is good. It is not good. Oh, oh, the mo be kan kura no no obi oha. Sometimes some people make comments. I said you oh me. As if to say say eh ye sebi ye si e dai na ma brabo be be ye. Is oh hey hey, and found you do a bit can you be see you be see wow. Whether it is built, I make a no. Even if you build it and then you invite me there, I will either come and preach or give the talk and then still talk against it. But the question is not whether it will be built or not. Of course, they are working towards it to build it. But ye ka esebi atoho, ama injuma. We are laying down a certain precedence. Ye she ye. Na se ochine bino se ye nya muslim ni ebe ye president se se ye papa ba omya epe so ye president yi na se obe ye ebi a nyame buwano na se obe ye president na se ono so eka se ye ebe te taxpayers money e di e si national mosque me sremo all those supporting the national cathedral you must be in full support your hypocrisy will be will be to the next level if at that time you stand against it and we thank god that the internet does not lie these things will still be there in the same vein you know president be no no the okase yeah na nano musum na yeah yeah there let's go back to our roots into your person you see a national shrine miss ramu Said the mom man they support it, you know. Mom man fan support it. Or cause the or the national. I mean say, oh, you see, can every a buy new food to move at the area. I don't expect those supporting the national cathedral to speak against it. You cannot tell me that oh, the national shrine there. I dey a bosun sun for na derby. A bosun sun for a bit that's so honum. Just as you are expecting the Muslims, just as you are expecting the Abusunsun Fono to join you in support of the National Cathedral, please, a China Bino, it may not be now, it may be 30 years' time. Ebi Krana, na ya isi, ya no krampu, ye wuko. But we should be careful. Ewo esa ye katoho. Se China Bino, ankoyei, ankoyei ye, a Christopher with our National Cathedral. Na e ye Muslim for with their National Mosque. Please, it what we did, you know, what is good good for the goose is also good for the ganda. Say Deben Debeon. Say Timiti Sika a free national treasury. And I say taxpayers' money, ADC a ye national cathedral. Na say and no no a yet ya Mesro say draw no ma sasikana be yente and fancy national mosque. A draw no monswa sasikana be yente and fancy national shrine. And I'm not expecting the pastors who are supporting and Christians who are supporting the National Cathedral today. Or Chinebino say a national mosque. You I don't expect you to speak against it. Neither do I expect you to speak against the national shrine. Those who have the right and the moral right to speak against it, are those who maintained that whether it is national cathedral, whether it is national shrine, whether it is national mosque, it is not needed. Those are the people. God richly bless you. I'll come your way on Wednesday with, I mean, we'll continue with the uh, um, understanding the concept of the church. And then on Friday, last week Friday, unfortunately, we couldn't have it. Uh, I traveled and uh, I couldn't get the necessary uh, environment for that. But this Friday, I'll be back in Accra and then um, we will do it. We'll continue with what we are doing, reconstructing the soul of Ghana. So stay blessed and then catch you up on friday please our two schools 
the registration is ongoing. Nyami Aduma from July to September. One is the School of Transformational Leadership. Please do well and then contact me so that you register the School of Leadership. Powerful session by, I mean, um, um, very seasoned people or knowledgeable people in the field of leadership. And then we also have the School of Apologetics, School of Apologetics, where you understand more on Christianity and Islam and religion and then all those kind of stuff. You can also do well and then, I mean, you feature as well. So we'll meet on uh, Wednesday for our teaching session.